Hello everyone, it's wonderful to meet you, albeit virtually. Um, it's really unfortunate that we can't meet each other in person, um, but I'm confident that the format I prepared for this presentation will give us a chance to get to know each other kahit meron tayong physical distance. I really like interactive lectures, kaya lang there's the limitation of, well, the pandemic. I would have preferred to be with you in USD right now, but maybe next time. So before I start my lecture, I first would like to introduce myself. So I'm Nicole Corato, and in this lecture series, I'm wearing two hats, actually. The first hat I'm going to wear is my hat as a sociologist. So currently, I'm an associate professor at the Center for Deliberative Democracy and Global Governance at the University of Canberra. And I guess, welcome to my home. So for those of you who don't know yet, Canberra is the capital of Australia. And a big part of my work has to do with thinking about how we can revive uh, democratic institutions in Australia and Southeast Asia um, when it comes to deepening democratic engagement. And when we talk about my research in the Philippines, the focus of my work has been thinking about how democratic innovations can take root in the aftermath of tragedies. So I've done extensive fieldwork in field sites that have experienced disaster, armed conflict, and urban crime. So yung disaster, I went to Tacloban. Yung armed conflict, I went to Marawi. And urban crime, um, I've been doing extensive fieldwork, though not, not as extensive I would like it to be, um, in a slum community in Quezon City that has experienced um, the drug war. So I'm sharing this with you, I'm sharing my research to you, because I think the way I understand Philippine democracy is very much shaped by my fieldwork experience um, in these contexts in the Philippines. So that is the first hat. Um, yung atake ko for this lecture will be to wear the hat of a sociologist embedded in empirical fieldwork um, in very challenging contexts in the Philippines. Now, the other hat I'm wearing is my hat as a television presenter. So some of you may already know that I've been doing work for CNN Philippines, and I conceptualize, write, and host the show Meet the Millennials. I'm not an expert on the sociology of youth. I'm not an expert on the sociology of generations. But what I'd like to do in this lecture is to bring in the insights that I've learned hosting the program and link it to my expertise um, as a sociologist uh, specializing on democratic politics. So that's my introduction. Um, the organizers of this intensive course gave me a challenge, which to me is a pretty interesting challenge because here we na merge yung trabaho ko bilang sociologist at yung trabaho ko bilang television presenter which is to, un to understand or explain to you, let me read my notes, Philippine democracy and the millennial public. So given my background, obviously, I'm very excited to talk about this. Um, so ganito yung magiging strategy natin. I will divide this lecture into three parts. In the first part of this lecture, I will invite you to watch the inaugural episode of Meet the Millennials. Um, actually, this episode is very special to me because we have an impression that when we would deal with commercial media, there are some topics that we can't discuss, it's kind of awkward to be critical of the concept of what the millennial is. The title of the program that you gave me, Meet the Millennials, right? But, what I really like about this episode, and I hope you like it too, is that first episode pa lang, binabasag na natin yung konsepto ng millennial. Isa sa key takeaways ng no episode na to is to interrogate and criticize whether the concept of the millennial is actually a useful sociological and political category. So I really invite you to, to watch this. I think it's an hour long. It features guests who specialize in the sociology of youth and I very much learned a lot from this episode, and I hope you do too. So that is part one. In part two, um, we will talk to each other again 
and I will give you a crash course about the debates on how we can make sense of Philippine democracy. So that will probably run for less than an hour. And then I would like you to think about what you think about these debates. So that is part two. And then part three, medyo madadelay tayo ng konti. Why is that? It's because I would like to invite you to think about what you learned from the first part, which is the episode on Meet the Millennials, and think about how that relates to the second part of the lecture, which is about the debates on Philippine democracy. And I want you to share with me some of your insights on how we can blend these two um, parts of the lectures together. So what we will do in the third episode is that I will read out some of your comments that reflect on Philippine democracy and the millennial public, and I will build on those comments. I think that will be a fun and effective way of going about this lecture. Um, I don't want to monopolize the conversation here. I would very much like um, to learn from you. So I think I will end this um, introductory welcome for now. And I encourage you to watch uh, that video of the inaugural episode of Meet the Millennials. And then I'll see you in the next part of this video, where we will discuss the debates on Philippine democracy.